Hey everybody, Gavin Syme here. Today's quick video is taking a look at presets in the Creative Cloud apps, Premiere Pro and Adobe Media Encoder. Now it may also be similar for other apps, but that's what I wanna focus on today. I find myself every time a new version comes out, it, it's, it should be easy. Adobe should be making it easy to move things over and manage, but they're not. So here we are. I'm gonna go into Adobe Premiere CC. This is version seven then, okay, of Premiere. And let's look at this first. You see on the left here, I have all these nice presets that I've made with plugins and, and all kinds of goodies that save me huge amounts of time. Presets are massive, massive time savers when you're editing in the Premiere workspace. So there's a couple ways I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna start with the really simple way. One way, is just to select the presets. If you're not worried about other settings, if you just want to get your effects presets that are down here in the effects panel or wherever you have your effects panel, here's all these presets I've made. I can select all these presets and it would take me a minute, so I'm not going to select all of them, but I, I could manually select these. For some reason, the shift select is not working here. And the simple way is just to export presets and you can see that I can export these. I'm just going to put them on the desktop and you see this presets package now on the desktop. So that's the simple way. Then I could get rid of this version, go into 2014 or version eight. And you notice that I don't have all my custom presets. It's empty. Didn't migrate anything over. So I could actually just open this up in here and I could import presets right from here, from the effects panel, import those from the desktop right there, okay? That's one way. I'm gonna show you that same way with Media Encoder, and it's actually even a little bit simpler. It's just with these Adobe apps, it's kind of all over the place. All right, here's my export presets for exporting media. So you see all my presets here. All I have to do here is select them all, and the shift select is working in here. I'm gonna right click, and export those presets. And again, I can just put those on the desktop. And there I go. Now it exports all the individual presets in this case, rather than a bundle. Now I could go over to Media Encoder CC 2014. I don't have presets and you could see that I could import presets. And of course, go to my desktop and select all my presets and open them up. So that's one way to deal with it. If you wanna get more in depth and copy more settings over, let me also show you the other way. And that involves going to the path where presets are stored, which tends to be the really convoluted across all the Adobe applications. And what I'm gonna try and do, I'm working on a Mac, I'm gonna try and put the paths down in the info tab below the video so that you can go and see what the current paths are to the best of my ability to give them to you. But usually they're somewhere in your user folder. In this case, I'm gonna show, show you both. It seems that on the newer versions of the Adobe products, they're actually putting these, <clears throat> excuse me, in the documents folder. So here's my user folder, documents, Adobe. Now this actually makes more sense. It looks like they're putting a lot of stuff in here. In this case, here is my Premiere Pro, and presumably this should work the same for After Effects and things like that. But within there, here's version seven. You see there's my profile and here's my presets. Now I could also copy other things over, but for now I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna copy Command C in this case, or you could right click and copy as well. Okay, now I'm just gonna go to the other version, which is in this same parent folder, version eight, or in this case, CC 2014. Go to my profile folder, and I'm just going to overwrite the existing default presets that are in there. I'm gonna replace that, paste it right in. And now I'm going to open up CC 2014. And if everything works the way it should, it'll pop right open and my presets will be right where they belong. Wait for it. And voila, over there on the left, we see all my presets, my audio presets, the folders that I made for them, and of course the master folder with all of the presets in it. Now that's pretty slick. So to me, that's a little better way to do it if you've got the time, because rather than making sure all those presets come in, exporting them all and selecting them all, you can just copy the whole settings. And of course you can also go in here and look at other settings that you may need to copy over. 
just a good idea to make a backup just in case something doesn't transfer over or something's not compatible or you screw something up. So always a good policy when you're moving things around like this. Now you can also use this same procedure to do backups of your presets. Now, unfortunately to do the same in Adobe Media Encoder, let's go over to there real quick. It's not within this documents folder like Adobe seems to be doing with After Effects and Premiere and things like that. It's buried deep down in there in the users, your username, library, preferences, Adobe, common, AME, and then here's version seven, and you actually see those presets, and I could copy those right over here, and it's literally just selecting them all and putting them in to version eight or CC 2014. Now I'm going to quit this. I'm going to open Media Encoder 2014, and it's going to pop that open, and we should see the presets that I've now copied over right in here under the user preset groups, and there they all are, just like they're supposed to be in CC 2014. Now what I would say with this, there's a little more complexity arguably in the Premiere presets, and there's a lot more stuff. So I would encourage you to go find your profile that has all your, your preset stuff so that you can bring over whatever you need. In the case of the presets in Media Encoder, you're probably gonna be just as easy to go here and just manually select and export them and then import them into the new version because they make that pretty easy and the presets are a little bit straightforward in AME than they are in Premiere where you have all the different folders and stuff like that and you may not wanna rebuild those. I just wanted to give you both options. I'll try to put the paths down below and there's two ways to manage your presets. Quite frankly, it's probably gonna work similar across the Adobe apps, but I just wanted to make a video for these apps because I find every time the version changes, I'm hunting around and I'm looking for this, and I figured somebody else probably is too, so let's talk about that. And since I went in the back door, I actually don't need to import these ones that I exported the desktop. So I'm just gonna get rid of those and we're good to go, but either one of those methods will work. All right, guys, take care.